Good morning, students, and welcome to today's class. So in the last class, we saw a quick recap on what are three-digit numbers, which you'll have studied in second standard. Then we started with four-digit numbers, right? And we saw what are the different places in four-digit numbers. So four-digit numbers has ones, tens, hundreds, and a thousandth place, correct? And then later we saw what are predecessors, successors, even numbers, odd numbers, Right, and uh, so in today's class, what we'll do is we'll complete exercise 1.1 on what we have studied, that is on predecessors, successors, even number, odd number, and then we'll move on to seeing what is face value and place value of numbers. All right. So in the last class, we saw what were three-digit numbers. So three-digit numbers have hundreds, tens, and ones. So hundreds, tens, and ones. And then this number, these blocks show 235. These show 330. And then we saw what's a four-digit number. So four-digit number, whenever we add one to the greatest three-digit number. So greatest three-digit number is 999. So when I add one to it, I get the smallest four-digit number, which is 1,000. Okay. Then we saw some terms to remember. So some terms are odd numbers. What are odd numbers? Odd numbers are nothing but numbers which end in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So numbers ending with these digits are called odd numbers. For example, 13 is an odd number, 21 is an odd number, 99 is an odd number, okay, 67 is an odd number, and then even numbers. Numbers which end in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0 are called even numbers. These are all even numbers. Whenever they end in these digits, they are called even numbers. For example, 100, 28, 36, okay, 59, uh, 6, 54, these are all even numbers. Then predecessors. Predecessors of a number, okay, it's the number that occurs just before the given number. So, for example, here predecessor of 12 is 11 because 11 comes just before so, the given, whenever a number is given, and uh, you are asked to find the predecessor, the number just before the given number is called a predecessor of that number. Then, successor. Successor of a number is a number that occurs just after the given number. So, if my given number is 12, then the successor of 12 will be 13. Because 13 comes just after 12. Okay, so these were some terms we saw last time. Then, uh, we'll see some problems on these terms. All right. So question number one in exercise 1.1 was given for your homework. So l I'll just tell you all the answers for your homework here. So thousand plus thousand plus thousand plus thousand is how much? It is four thousand, and it's already given in its number name. Then the next one, it's given in numerals five thousand. So how will you write it in words? It will be like this. 5,000. Okay. Then the next one. 6,000 is given in uh, the number name. So in numerals it will be 6,000. Zero, zero, zero. Then the next one. 7,000. So 7,000. Zero, zero, zero. Now the same way next one numeral is given we have to write the number name. So it will be 8,000. So 8,000. And the last one is 9,000 number name is given. So its numeral will be 9000. Okay, so 9000. So this is your answers for your activity. Now, moving on to the next question. Write the numerals for the following. So they've given us number names. We have to write these number names in numerals or in numbers. So 3564. So 3000 means 3 is in thousands place. 500, so 5 is in hundreds place, and 64, so 6 is in tens place, and 4 is in ones place. So your number is 3564. Then 9841, so that will be 9841. 9841. So 9000 means 9 thousands means 9 is in thousands place, 800, so 8 is in hundreds place. 40. So 40 means 4 is in tens place and 5 so is 5, sorry. So 5 is in ones place. So it will be 9, 8, 4, 5. 
then six seven thousand ninety nine so seven thousand meaning seven is in thousands place so we'll put a seven and then ninety nine so they've not given any hundreds here so it means hundreds places zero so i'll put a zero in hundreds place then ninety nine so nine in tens place and nine in ones place so this is a number then the last one four thousand seven so how five thousand seven sorry how will i write five thousand seven so five thousand five is in thousands place then directly they've given seven which means there's nothing in uh, there's no digit in hundreds place or tens place so we'll put a two zeros in hundreds and tens place then in ones place i have a seven so five thousand seven okay so then here they've given you at home questions for e and f at home means you have to do these for homework all right so wherever they've given you at home do those questions for homework then next they have told you to write the number names so they've given you the numerals and you have to write them the you have to write down the number names so next 5163 so we have 5163 so how will we write it in uh, number names 5000 then 100 163 okay 163 then 2000 2878 so 2 is in thousands place so that becomes 2000 8 is in hundreds place so it becomes 800 and then 7 is in tens place so it becomes 70 and 8 is in one place so it is 8 2878 then 3400 so uh, tens place and ones place is 0 and 0 and in thousands place we have three so that becomes three thousand and in four hundreds place we have four so that is four hundred so three thousand four hundred because we don't have anything in tens and ones place then six one zero five so we'll write six thousand because six is in thousands place and then one hundred because one is in hundreds place then since in tens place we have zero we'll move on to ones place ones place is five so that becomes six thousand one hundred five okay six thousand one hundred five then question e and uh, f again they have told at home so that is again the part of your homework now question number four here look at the abacus and fill in the blanks as shown so they've given you abacus here they've given you some beads so you uh, you have to form different sentences using that what are the different sentences first one you have to write the places so we have three thousands because three beads are there in thousands place 200 so 2h then 0t because zero tens are there in uh, zero beads are there in tens place and four uh, ones because four beads are there in ones place then we have to write it in numeral form so 3204 and then in its number name form so let's start with the first blank so first we'll write how many thousands are there so we have 1000 because only one bead is there in thousands place that becomes 1th that is 1000 then in hundreds place how many beads we have three so that becomes three hundreds that is h and then in tens place i have two beads so that becomes two tens two t plus in ones place i have one bead so that becomes one o okay so one ones so this is the first sentence then we have to write these in numeral so that becomes one three two one okay one three two one in numerals and then number names it becomes one thousand one thousand three hundred 21 okay 1321 so this is question b then moving on to the next page question number c is the same way we have to do so in thousands place i have two beads so that becomes two th that is two thousands h should be small then hundreds place we have zero so zero hundreds okay plus in tens place one bead is there so one tens and in ones place i have 
four beads so that becomes four ones okay four o oh. then in numeral form this will become two zero one four two thousand fourteen so in number names that will be two thousand fourteen okay so two thousand and fourteen all right so then the last question here d1 in thousands place we have one bead so that becomes 1000 then hundreds place i have two so 2h plus in tens place i have four bead so that becomes 4t so four tens and in ones place i have two bead so two os so the number here is 1 2 4 2 okay and its number name will be 1000 1242 okay so we write it as 1242 okay so this is the answer for que answers for question 4 now moving on to question number 5 fill in the missing numbers so we have to fill in the missing numbers so we have 3145 3146 3147 so co what comes after 147 148 so that will be 3148 then 3149 and 31 after 49 we have 50 so 3150 so these are all the predecessors of these numbers then we have 6289 then 290 So after two ninety we have two ninety one. So six two nine one. Then six two nine two six two nine three is already given, and then the last number will be six two nine four. Okay. And then the last line here five seven one three five seven two three five seven three three. Now here numbers in uh, question A and B were increasing in ones. Okay, only the ones place were increasing. Here in question C. Uh, tens place is increasing. Okay, so we are increasing the number by tens. Rest all the digits are same. So four seven one three four seven two three four seven three three. So next will be four seven four three, then four seven five three, and the last is four seven six three. Okay, so this was answer for question number five. Again, uh, at home that is D and E is for your homework. So for your homework, do question E F of question two and three, and D and E of question five. Okay, now moving on to. Now moving on to uh, face value and place value. Let's see what is face value and place value. Okay, so face uh, so face value face value of any number can be represented as the value of the digit itself. So, if I take an, uh, for example, here I have taken the number three thousand six seventy nine. So now, when I put it, nine is in ones place, seven in tens, six in hundreds, and three in thousands place, right? Now, to write the face value of the digits, face value of the digit is nothing but the value of the digit itself. So, value of three will be three only. Value of six will be six only. Face value of seven will be seven only, and face value of nine will be nine itself. Okay, whatever is the digit or whichever place it is, face value will be the value of the digit itself. Okay, we'll see a few examples later. Then place value. Place value is the value of each digit in a number. What does this mean? I've taken the same example, three thousand six seventy nine. Here again, three is in thousands place, six in hundred, seven in tens, and nine in ones. But here, place value will be the position of the Uh, digit that is if i take 3 3 is in the position that is thousands right it is in thousands place so place value of 3 uh, will be 3 into 1000 because it is in thousands place that is 3 thousands same way for 6 it will be 6 into 100 or 600s then 7 tens will be 10 is 7 is in tens place so it will be 7 tens or 70 then 9 is in ones place so it will be 9 ones or Nine itself. Okay, so this is the difference between place value and face value. For face value, face value of a digit will be the digit itself. Place value of a digit will be 
the position it is in multiplied with the digit so 3 into 1000 6 into 100 7 into 10 like that so let's see some examples so here again they have given face value is the value actual value of a digit so face value of 9 in 7945 is 9 only now place value now if i take the number 7945 okay face value of 7 will be 7 9 will be 9 only 4 will be 4 and 5 will be 5 then position value that is nothing but your places so 7 is in thousands place that is thousand and 9 is in hundreds 4 is in tens and 5 is in ones so 100 thousand hundred tens and ones so place value of each digit will be uh, 7 into thousand for 7 then 9 will be 9 into 100 900 4 into 10 40 and 5 into 1 5 okay so that is 7900 then 40 and 5 so if I have to write this in expanded form what I'll do I'll put the place value of each digit and then I'll just put addition symbols in between making it an addition statement all right so one more example 3046 3046 so face value of this will be uh, for 3 will be 3 only for 0 it will be 0 only for 4 it will be 4 and for 6 it will be 6 and place values now where for 6 it will be 6 into 1 because it is in 1's place that is 6 then 4 will be because it's in 10's place 4 into 10 40 now 0 now 0 into 100 0 into 100 will be 0 only anything you multiply with the 0 it will be 0 itself okay then 3 into 1000 because 3 is in 1000's place it becomes 3000 okay now same way they have asked face value of 5 here what will be the face value of 5 face will, value will be 5 only and place value will be 5 now 5 is here is in 1000's place so 5 into 1000 which is 5000 so this is a meaning of place value and face value now we'll see some problems on face value and place value all right so now uh, page number 83 they have given you what is face value and place value here then in the next page okay we have exercise 1.2 on face value and place value all right so let's complete this exercise today then they have asked here first question write the face value and the place value of each digit in the following numbers one has been done for you so one they have shown 3809 they have given you face value first and then the place value same way we have to do the others okay now here let's do this one now 4157 now first uh, what is the face value of 7 face value of 7 will be 7 itself okay then face value of 5 will be 5 face value of 1 will be 1 and face value of 4 will be 4 only then coming to place value now place value of 7 so 7 into 1 that is because it's in 1's place so 7 itself then place value of 5 since it's in 10's place it will be 5 into 10 which is 50 and then coming to uh, uh, 1 1 is in 100's place so 100 and 4 is in thousands place so that is 4000 okay so this is face value and place value of question b now moving to question number c now 4 will be 4 only face value face value of 4 will be 4 then face value of 2 will be 2 face value of 0 will be 0 and face value of 9 will be 9 all right now coming to place values now since 4 is in one's place it will be 4 into 1 which is 4 then 2 into 10 because 2 is in 10's place it will be 20 0 is in 100's place so that will be 0 into 100 which is 0 itself so that is 0 only and then 9 is in 1000's place so 9000 all right then last one 6140 face value of 0 is 0 face value of 4 is 4 face value of 1 is 1 and then face value of 6 is 6 okay and then place value place value of 0 will be 0 only place value of 4 will be since it's in tens place it will be 40 1 is in hundreds place so it will be 100 and 6 is in thousands place so it will be 6000 okay so these are the answers for question number 1 now coming to question 2 they have told write in standard form what does standard form mean they have given uh, place values of 
all the digits and they have given it in an addition statement so this is the expanded form so to write the standard form what you'll do is you'll write the first digit of each number here so first is 3 so in 3000 then in 100 we have 1 in 50 we have 5 and in 8 we write 8 so the number here is 3158 okay so 1000 plus 200 plus 31 plus 30 plus 1 so 1 then in 200 we have 2 in 30 we have 3 and in 1 we have 1 so 1 2 3 1 and then 9000 plus 100 plus 60 so 9000 we have 9 in 100 we have 1 and 60 we have 6 but in ones place uh, there's nothing so we write it as 0 so 9160 okay then write it in expanded form so expanded form now we have to write all the place values of the number all the place values of each digit so 4 is in thousands place so its place value will be 4000 1 will be since it's in hundreds place it will be 100 7 is in 70 uh, tens place so it will be 70 and the next 7 is in ones place so it will be like this 4000 plus 100 plus 70 plus 7 and then 3208 so that is 3000 plus 200 in tens place it's 0 so we'll write 0 and in ones place it's 8 so plus 8 okay then 1534 so we have 1000 plus 500 plus 30 plus Four. So you just put all the place values of the number and add it. So then we have 2000 plus 0, 0, 0 because 100's place is 0. Then 10's place is 20 and six, uh, 1's place is 6. So this is the expanded form. So the, the next two questions E and F is for your homework. Okay. Now represent the following numbers on the abacus. Write the place value of the highest digit in each of them okay so we have to uh, show these numbers on the abacus okay so two three four five so here i'll show you one the rest you do for homework so two three four five so two is in thousands place so i'll draw two beads in thousands place then three in hundreds place so i will draw three beads in hundreds place you all can use different color to draw the beads four is in tens place so four beads And 5 is in 1's place, so I will draw 5 beads here. Okay. You can use different colors. Then here they have asked highest digit. Which is the highest digit among this? It is 5. Right. So that is 5. And place value of 5 is, it, since it's in 1's place, it will be 5 only. Okay. And then I will uh, show you one more problem. Now 6, 0, 2, 3. So I'll draw six uh, beads in thousands place and hundreds place is zero so I'll not do anything. Two beads in tens place, three beads in ones place. So one, two and three. Okay. Then here the highest digit is six. Right. Highest digit is six. And its place value since it's in thousands place it will be. 6000 same way do c and d for homework okay so this c and d is for homework then wherever they have given you at home in exercise 1.1 and 1.2 do that for your homework all right students so i'll see you all next week in the next class okay thank you